What is going on, All Terrain Nation? From all things two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, it does not matter what you drive because this is your All Terrain Nation, and I'm your host, David Boyd. we got co-host over there, Danny, in the house tonight. This is a special occasion. You get Danny, like, twice a week, man. It's like something's wrong. Yeah, uh, yeah. Are you luckily you snagged me right before <laughs> I head out to the King of the Hammers for a little uh, little spectating, hanging with uh, actually with uh, some of our old old time buddies from uh, from Adventures Gone Past. Uh, but yeah, it's stoked to be here. We got some cool stuff to chat about. Well, my video. I'm looking at my video here, and it's looking all funky, man. Hopefully, uh, let me. I'm I'm checking something, everybody. So just bear with me. On my screen, it just shows me. Oh, and I want to make sure nobody that... wants that. Right. And now I got to watch an ad on my own channel. That's that's great. <laughs> oh, darn. First world problems. No, we're broadcasting. It, live. Are we going to are we going to make money off that ad? If you watch the whole thing, <laughs> watch till the end, Dave. Watch <laughs> it till the end. That's right, man. But so it was it was Ford Raptor Day and there was a lot of excitement about this. A lot of miscues and a lot of BS fed to you by a lot of so-called journalists that, um, Oh, it's getting a V8. It's getting this and that. It's it's oh, it's confirmed five three uh, small block V8. This and that. And at the end of the day, wah wah, it's the V6 still. Um, they've gave us no specs, Daniel, but um, it's a V6. And um, I don't know. I want Danny's before because Dave's going to go on a rant here. So so and Danny knows how those goes. He won't get a word in edgewise for a minute. I, Danny, you you watched before we did this. You watched the live reveal, and I'm going to put it up for everybody to watch in just a minute. But I I want some early. Give me the early tidbits from Danny. Uh, so if if, if we're going to just talk right now, uh, are we talking just on the video reveal? Like, are we reviewing that kind of? Well, I'm going to show the video. I want to show the video. My first thoughts on the truck. But uh, yeah, I just your first thoughts of just kind of the things okay. we've seen so far. Yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll do both. Uh, okay. Initially, that video, um, it had some super high points and some very uh, head scratching points. Um, you know, it comes out. The video is amazing with the with the truck freaking ripping. And they were beating the piss out of this truck off road. Yeah, that uh, which, was great. That's what you're supposed to do. I love the fact that they like the, Ford has kind of been doing that. They, you, you can tell it like they're jumping it. You know what I'm saying? They're mm -hmm. blasting through um, kind of weird how it cuts it, it like it cuts into like some kind of story. We don't quite understand the story I, I feel like there wasn't quite enough there i feel um, like it's going to go somewhere one day like they're like yeah, it's may, another maybe video. when they release the r there we're going to see the rest of the story or something <laughs> like that or maybe there's going to be an, another review I, I just had a lot of questions on the little story that that was behind this whole little all these cuts um yes i probably could have just used more hardcore off-roading to tell you the truth um but that being said um let's let's talk about some high points i think um, of course, we're going to hear the complaints about the motor not going to be a V8, which I get on one hand, um, but I think having two engine options, and I think I mentioned this last time we chatted, I think having two engine options would be super rad for this truck. I think having the twin turbo 3.5 um, for some guys and then guys that want the beef monster flash, um, maybe that that's uh, that's what you, you, know, you want so that hopefully that's what they're going to get. Um, with the Raptor R, I think they alluded to it right in the end of the um, yep. sh the little show. Um, second thing, uh, real high point for me, uh, they gave it more travel, and it's got these super wild new uh, Fox uh, electrically adjustable um, internal bypass shocks. So I think uh, it's a live valve. It sends like 500 times a second, like it's dampening. Um, so I think that it's probably going to handle ex extremely well off road. Right. I think that that's like a big deal. I've seen some of that type of um, that that suspension before. It's it's pretty cool stuff, and um, the tech in that is is pretty uh pretty cutting edge. Um, 15 inches of rear wheel travel, which is uh, that's the five link rear end. It's got. Uh, trailing bar, trailing arms, and a track bar. I guess you would call it a uh, track bar. No, it's not called a track bar. It's it's eluding me. But um, but it it it's a coil spring in the rear. Um, and it's uh it's pretty sweet suspension. Um, uh, they bumped the tow number up quite a bit. Uh, a, a little over eight thousand pounds, which <laughs> and is it really needed nice. that badly. That that this, yes, yeah, this... yes. I know a lot of guys that you know want to tow stuff with this, and if you're right at the six thousand pound mark, you're you're going to be hard pressed to to tow a big race truck with that, you know, if you're going right. out to the desert right. or even any kind of rear, rear, real travel trailer, you know, you're going to have to put airbag. I think a lot of guys would put airbags in it and stuff like that. But, um, but the tow bump was a big deal for them. I think that's a really 
Um, that's not, you know, knock it out of the park. You can tell most race, um, race vehicles at about 8,000 pounds, you know, that's, you're going to fall well below that 8,000 pound mark with, uh, a lot of the race vehicles that you see. Um, the truck is super light. So that's something that we always have to mention. This truck is a thousand pounds lighter than, um, its competitor. You know, it's a super light truck. So, well, say, um, save the, the sa- save the, comp- don't get too deep into this because they're, we're going to unpack <laughs> some things. So I know I, I want to, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the highlights right now, Dave, I'm doing the highlights. Um, so that that's kind of cool, it, which it, it really helps with off-road ability, right? Like uh, a lighter truck is going to not need nearly as much spring and, and, and shock compression, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right. um, and rebound and whatnot. Um, so those are kind of like my big high marks that I, that I noticed um, that I really think are pretty cool. The interior, I'm, uh, the, the picture of the blue interior makes me want to throw up in my mouth. Uh, I, I didn't even see the interiors. Oh, you didn't? No. Um, it it says two exterior. I'm sorry. Yeah, I uh, there was um. Oh, yeah, well, it's I'm got sure. like some weird bolstered seats. I I'm looking at a blue one. I think I saw it on Motor Trend. Okay. Um, the seats are weird looking. Um, maybe if you want to pull up the Motor Trend article. Um, I'm looking at Ford Media now. I'll fi- I'll find these pictures. Go ahead. It remind it re- the the seat reminds me of. Oh, I see um, it now. Like something you'd see in Star Trek or something like that. Yeah. Um, like, like someone was trying to recreate like the star, star, the starship enterprise, uh, and, and data, yeah. uh, was, you know, looking to, to change up his colors and get a new seat to <laughs> supply the plane or something like that. Probably getting all the references wrong. But, uh, anyway, so some stuff is super cool in the interior. Some stuff, uh, I think missed the mark a smidge. Um, so, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I do think that there's some things that, uh, they kind of missed the mark, but, um, I'm a kind of a suspension nerd, and I think this thing is so capable off road that uh, um, that it's well, it, it's super cool. Let's uh, let's bleed into this uh, this video, and we'll play it for everybody. And uh, let's just watch this two minutes and forty four seconds of our life. I love the jumping right here, man. That's awesome. Oh yeah, dude! They're just smashing that truck up <laughs> like hard. I, I, and it but, takes it. It takes it. You can t- you can tell oh, yeah. that the sp- suspension's tough. You know. So we've yet to. He's is that we don't know if it's a Bible or what. Uh, a lot of play. A lot of play here. It says something about American Off Road Association there. Um, the Metallica from the intro of a lot of this, I was like, fine. Like they get it, and then the, I was a head scratcher on this on this one here. I like they're showing all the modes. You know, this is you, it's doing what it needs to do as far as like showing you what the truck does. Like yeah. the slow motions right here are just freaking wicked. Oh yeah, I mean, and that like when he when he first sent it off that that uh, that first ledge, I think he was like uh, dreaming about it. Those tires were like a couple feet in the air. You yeah, know, coming off yeah. the front of the ledge. Well, every time he shuts the door, we don't hear Metallica, and I don't. I'm curious if this is what it actually sounds like because the Raptor, current Raptor, is not known to sound great. No, I, I, uh, some of the notes, uh, it's hard on, on uh, that are not hearing in person, uh, but it is. I really am hoping that it has better sound. It sounds pretty cool. I don't know if it's there yet, but right. I will say the red looks way better than the blue truck. Yes. <laughs> Maybe it's personal preference. Kind of a throwback <laughs> to the original SVT. Yeah. See, I, I, it's a sketchbook maybe? I don't know. It looks like he's in an old Raptor. And obviously his buddy here has lost, he's lost his buddy or something. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know what that sells me on a vehicle. I mean, I get, like, this is why he's out in the desert, like, doing this thing. Like, him and his buddy had some time together. There we go. It's up in the air. Um, But the the video is kind of a, it's kind of a head scratcher, man. I, I'm, once again, I know what they're doing. Like, seeing the truck in the air, that's what you want to see out of the Raptor. 
Like, yeah, I, th- it, I think doing crazy off road things is exactly what we want to see this thing do, right? Yeah. And I, I kind of get the story. I just don't think the story was clear enough. And so, therefore, it took away a smidge. I think if they just cleared up that story a smidge, I, it, you know, it'd give you a little bit, a little, a little bit more emotion about how this truck is a little bit more heritagey. Uh, you know, like this is this is something that him and his buddy used to bomb around in or something like that. So, yeah, um, I mean, you know, usually you go off road with your buddy or whatever. So I, I, I get it. I don't know what losing maybe potentially someone has to do with by owning a kick ass truck and jumping it through <laughs> the like, I mean, if it was him and his buddy and they were hooting and if they would have shown like the old Raptor, like say an SVT Gen 1. And just for a second of showing him and his buddy like bashing through the desert, then it's just this guy. I would probably yeah. understand this. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I agree. I, you know, they're they're trying they're trying the, to to the, to um tie the truck to an emotion. You know what I'm saying? So, well, um, there's an emotion. It didn't. I, I, it didn't I get tie that. To. I just don't think they. I just don't think they quite hit the mark on it. Well, yeah. And I'll be honest. And and I'll, let me pull. Let me pull some pictures of this truck up because I've got thoughts and they may not be thoughts that everybody likes or if, if you're a Raptor guy, I mean, clearly Danny, I'm a Ford guy now, right? Because I'm buying a Bronco. I, I have to be a Ford guy. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know anyways, but um, I've always, I've always been a smidge of, a, I, I mean, I, I grew up a Ford guy until they stopped making the Ranger there for so long. And so I, I you know, I'm, I'm, that's kind of like my second choice personally. So right. I, I'm there with you, Dave, for sure. Okay. So here's the front end of this thing, big and wide, what you expect to see from a, a Raptor. I mean, there, there's no doubt about it. It says forward really big. It seems like they're getting bigger with that. The right from the get go, I'm going to nitpick the shit out of this truck because I don't like it. And that, that's me. That, I'm just going to say, <laughs> I like what it's about. Okay. So I get me a desert runner. Me and Danny's had these arguments about Raptor and East coast versus West coast. But you know, I get, you see that thing in the air. It's, it's definitely really cool on 37s, Dan. Factory thirty sevens, yeah. man. What's yeah, the what's 30, the the options are thirty fives and thirty sevens. Yeah. What will the uh, Raptor R be like on on forty fours? I mean forties. Yeah. I mean it's getting nuts. <laughs> it'll, with be the... on, it'll be on forties. That game's getting nuts. Well, and, but and in truth, that they, they it's almost like they can't really do much more because it's going to be so wide. It'll turn into yeah. like a an even different vehicle class. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it'll be like 120 inches. Wide. It'll be a semi class. You got to get your CDL <laughs> exactly. to drive this thing. But yeah, exactly. So we've all seen the new front end of the, the, the trucks. And I like the new Ford front ends, but on this, this looks like they just stuck an F two fifty on the front of this thing. It looks horrible in my opinion. Um, I don't know. It, like the bumper is too close to what it currently looks like. It 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 just wasn't enough change. You know the the original SVTs was so different than the F one fifty. Now yeah, yeah it's, I agree. It's based on an F one fifty. I get it, but this thing like I looked at the side and could barely tell it was wider. You know, like the fi- wider fenders and stuff. It doesn't it doesn't represent that very well. Yeah, I I kind of I kind of agree with you on that. I think the the little fender shrouds that they have, I think they should have just extended the body out to that. Mm-hmm. Um, I you know it's it's hard to say if without actually seeing what it looks like, um, and saying okay, you know what that idea was trash. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, and it not- doesn't have it doesn't have the wow factor. You're totally right, and that's something that I've noticed recently with the Raptor. It doesn't have the big change uh, change of look wow mm-hmm. factor from right. uh, you know the stock truck it just looks like it's slightly modified There's i some... love the second gen i think the second gen to me is the best looking yeah. to me the best looking raptor but um you get into this the noise of the thing danny which is my next thing of and we'll i've, I've got a list of stuff we'll break down on this um i'm just you, I'm tired of these videos. You know, we've already heard Nissan that's going to dump their Frontier tomorrow. Like it sounds like a V8 in the video, and then you get them in person, and, <laughs> the and they sound like totally fake. Yeah, sounds. It sounds like somebody's beating a skunk. You know, like with a stick. Like they they don't sound like this. And the second gen Raptor when they went to this Eco Boost, what is it a three six? I think that they put in the, the three, current three, one. Five? I three think five, this I is think. a 3.5, but they I believe it's a three six. I'd have to look it up. Um, but they. It doesn't sound good, and on this one they're they're doing a modification that they call the Trumbo. What was it? What was it? Uh, something Trumbone. Um, yeah, the, the, they they taglined it. Well, they they have so it, let me let me read from one of their things. The new exhaust design allows for quiet mode yes. to appease the neighbors, as well as normal, sport, and Baja. The latter two rumbling 
like a V8. The new induction system has broadens the torque curve, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So they have, like, they've tried to do, it's weird because they're trying to make it sound like a V8, which it's not. And so why are they, you know, why don't they, why don't they just try and make it sound really good and not say we're trying to make it sound like a V8? Right. <laughs> you right. know? Right, exactly. You can do that. <laughs> so let's kind of get into this. So it says tackle tougher terrain. Fully redesigned F one hundred and fifty Raptor boosts its own off road capabilities with an all new five link rear suspension. Which for off roading, that is awesome, man. You get more, you know, you get more flex out of this thing. Um, a new generation of Fox shocks, and we're gonna get uh, first in class available thirty seven inch tires to uh, to you know handle that tougher terrain. Which, which once is, again, I mean, if you think about it, that's wild. That's yeah. wild, dude. 37 stock on something is wild, dude. I would have 35s back. I would have never thought with Bronco, 35s would have been a thing. And Yeah. So they're definitely trying to one-up them in a, in a Ram, Dodge. I don't care what you call it anymore. They're definitely trying to one-up each other. And uh, so it says, best performing high output 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine delivers better low-end torque, enables a greater maximum towing, and increased maximum payload capacity. Uh, brings a projected EPA estimated range of over 500 miles and class exclusive active valve dual exhaust for a throatier engine sound. And then for out of the blue, it says Raptor R is coming next year, um, which they they've had to uh, they've had to initially when this thing came out this afternoon, they had to feel the 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 backlash of uh, guys that that. Yeah, the the current Raptor is what four hundred fifty horse, something like that. It's quick little vehicle, yeah. but it's not truck like. It's it's getting too car like, and I know Ford's proud of the EcoBoost technology, and and turbos are freaking awesome. But like you were saying earlier, Dan, you're never going to make a V six in general sound like a V eight. It, it just it I just think they got work. about as close as they get from what I from what I heard. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to get they. To tell you the truth, it sounds a little like at certain tones, it sounds a little bit like my truck, which is pretty high strung right now. Right. Um, but uh, it, I think it sounds pretty good. It just, you know, it doesn't, it sounds like a small, it sounds kind of like an older Mustang, like yeah. a 5 or, or like a 4 6 Mustang with a little exhaust on it. That's kind of how I envision it. It does sound like a small V8 kind of, but you're never, you know, you can put a million different twist bends and mufflers on it. It's never going to be a, you know, like the right. five O sounds like ridiculous. Right. And Ford, you know, that Ford's, thing just that five O man from they've the exhaust, everything from the factory always sounded as a kid. They just Ford. That was one thing they did better than GM with the Camaro. They just sounded tuned from the factory, man. So they know yeah, how to do sure. it. It's just what uh, I was watching a video the other day on the Strad man, and he's got a gen two uh, Raptor. It's a Hennessy model, I believe. And it's maxed out horsepower. Sounds horrible. And he just put he just put a big, it's a big uh, resonator in it to make it sound like something. And finally, it sounds yeah. okay. But <laughs> I, I guess maybe the the idea of the old uh, you know straight pipe and something just doesn't work with these engines. I don't know. Yeah. Um. You know what? Like we'll say you know the that we wanted of course to to have the V eight, but I mean for for the 3.5 um and then they put a 36 gallon tank in this thing which is freaking amazing dude i i can't tell you how many people who have full size trucks who want big fuel tanks that's yes. they're like one of the biggest things is they always complain like oh my buddy had a had a had the ford diesel and he had, he put out another like 20 gallons in it and he's like oh we could drive all the way to montana on one day <laughs> on, on both these tanks i'm like jeez dude you know um but you know especially if you're towing something you know this has a bigger towing capacity now and um having that big tank is a big deal but i mean it's still gonna get pretty good gas mileage with that 3.5 which um you know i mean if you if you can save some ducats on on some gas and uh and bomb around in the desert a little bit longer and have a little bit nicer trailer uh you know i i would i'll give them that one i'm yeah. down i'm down for that right um uh, but i'm going through the pictures here and and like i said i think the front end looks great it just i don't know man it, there's no there's no wow factor to it. Maybe it's just the design of the new running lights and stuff that Ford's using. Um, you know, obviously this thing's big and wide, and 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 Ford seems to be the king of uh, of knowing how to uh, to make these things look really cool. Um, but 
yeah, I don't know. The interesting, you know, with the coils in the rear of this thing and the what what they're doing. Obviously, from what I'm reading, they're going to offer 35s or 37s. So I'm sure the 37s yep. are some weird off road package that you know you end up overpaying for. Um, I there's no reason though too that they could give us a little bit more detail on the motor. And now I know every reveal, they never give you much, but this is a hyper truck. This is a super truck now that these are things selling points and Ford earlier think, they were bragging oh we're selling more than Porsche sells all together just in Raptors and we're selling more of this than than vet does and it, but it's like yeah but when the vet launched they didn't go well it's got 10 horse they didn't they didn't just say well it's got best in class v6 or whatever like they yeah, gave you yeah. something um and I don't know if Ford just their PR team is so good I don't understand that they would miss the mark on this but maybe the, maybe the motor's just not ready. And, and I think, and that my that's what I was gonna get to here real quick, Dave. I think they're probably trying to squeeze as much as they can get out of that motor, but at the same time doing reliability testing with you know these different tunes that they're trying to put into it. You know, right. it sounded like they did a little bit something different with the induction. Whether that's you know maybe they put bigger turbos on it. I don't know. Maybe they uh, maybe they just they're just playing with a little bit of an intake manifold situation, and therefore they're you know they're playing with the tune. Uh, but the thing with that is, you know, when you're doing that and, the, you know, you're trying to squeeze a little bit more horsepower out of this thing, uh, you know, you don't want to be replacing turbos because, you you know, you're spinning them up too fast or, right. you know, you're you're running at too high of a duty cycle. And you're, I, don't, I don't know. You know, there's all kinds of different things. Um, but that, that's my guess is that they're seeing if these if the tune that they have in it um, at that level is going to pull, you know, is going to hold together over maybe long term testing. That's right. that's my guess. Well, I'm looking at the oh, hood dude. now, and the hood. Yeah, oh, the hood looks good, dude. I it, just saw that picture. Except for the graph. See the little, the little uh, terrain graph graphics on this thing. Um, they're I, doing, I have to see it in purpose. I kind of uh, in person. I kind of like it. Well, and here, the, I did a video on on some of this stuff where Ford's going to do this with the Bronco, and the graphics look horrible. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, from what I can see of these, I'm not a really a fan of it. It doesn't seem like the red matches the red of the the hood. Um, and I will say this, Raptor, they've used that same logo for 10 years now. They could have slightly tweaked that a little bit. Like, I think that's part of why this thing looks old or it just not looks fresh is because they're using it on the same side on the bed. It looks, it's the same kind of styling. Um, I don't know. I don't know. And I wanted, I wanted this truck to be so kick-ass. Hell, here's the, here you can see. And they got 37 on the side of it. Like they're they're super proud of the 37 inch tires. Um, <laughs> and I guess you know, in case you forget, you well, it's the, the first time. It's the first time we've seen that. Right. I guess if you're at the car wash and somebody goes, "Man, that's a kick ass truck. What size tires are those?" And you're scratching your head, going, "Uh <laughs> oh, it's 37s. It says so on the side of the truck." Already, look at look at look at the sticker, bro. Yeah, I like the high clearance rear bumper. Mm -hmm. That's pretty nice. Even though you're gonna totally wreck those. Uh, those tailpipes right there. <laughs> right. Oh, look, it we does can seem uh, kind of high clearance uh, in the back. You get you get some of the normal features there, and there's the Fox shocks that you can see. Um, once again, now we're breaking into the interior. Now I've done some time in the new twenty uh, one Fords, and uh, dude, the interior is freaking nice. It is freaking nice. But something about this, and like you were saying, this does not look racy. This there's nothing about this interior that I'm like, oh, it's different than than the uh your normal f-150 yeah it's they they did uh they did kind of have a lot of the same f-150 stuff i think they were trying to include all of the new features that the new f1 ha f-150 has you know mm -hmm. like make sure that uh which you know it, it doesn't look better but i think that that the interior is so good um that i don't think they felt like they needed to do anything um well, look you know, at they, the... they stuck a couple orange accents on it to yeah. show that this was a raptor so you get some of that well look at the aug switches now the granted these are the same ones that you can get in the current the current truck and it's what they're putting in bronco and stuff i understand there's a cost associated to I like love redoing switches. switches oh no i think they look great but guess what if you were a second gen owner and you're like, oh, I've got to have the third gen, and then you see the inside of this thing, you're almost like, well, it's like almost the same truck. There's there's no there's no big change. <laughs> B Warren says the red steering wheel stripe keeps you centered in the Starbucks drive-through. 
Uh, oh, be Warren zinging him like he's always. He's bringing buddy. it. I appreciate that. He's bringing it. Um, but Dan, let's let's discuss. Let me get you up here. Let's let's discuss the real monster in the room though. TRX versus versus current gen, uh, Raptor. Clearly, clearly, you know, Ram knows how. If they want to bring it, they just throw in their their Hellcat. They they know Ram knows their audience. It's all about horsepower. Like for whatever reason, I think it's why they can still make the Charger and Challenger because they just throw a big V eight in it, and people are like, "Oh man, horsepower." Um, Ford has hung their hat on the EcoBoost stuff, which is once again cool. Now they've gotten in trouble with some of the the miles per gallon that they were kind of fudging those numbers that this little engine can do, but um, they it, it's like. It's like a Ferrari versus a dragster, like a, a rail car. That's the way I feel like this is. So the, the Raptor is going to handle or, like a Ferrari, and it's going to purr. It's going to be smooth, the engine. But at the end of the day, when you truck guys, I feel like are always going to go for horsepower for that big throaty V8. What do you think? Um, I think, so one, the the TRX is a 1,000 pounds more than this truck. So, you do need a hundred pound, a hundred horsepower to get that thousand pounds moving at the same um, rate of speed. Right. So, um, you know, the power to weight weight to weight ratio is a big deal. You know, mm -hmm. um, so I think, and I don't think that the engineering is in the TRX that is in the Raptor. I just don't think that the it, I don't I don't think it has the same off road chops at all. Um, so I just, well, I do see. You know, this is this is they're direct competitors to one another. I, I just don't think that the 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 TRX is going to get the same kind of love. You know, it's it's going to yeah. get the the counterculture about it. You know, that's that's what it's going to be. It's like people don't want to be that Raptor guy, right? Um, so, um, yeah, it's. I I think the Raptor has established itself so hard that it's not going to be a very good yeah comparison well you know? so so as i'm looking at dr detroit's in here what is going on dr detroit on my he danny you may not know dr detroit man i don't know if you've seen him in here but he works on the ranger slash bronco uh plant oh so uh we got we, up, my bar? we got some ford royalty in here uh but anyways nice. so he was like eh, he's like that eh, same truck with some upgrades the r is what people are waiting for but the problem is you're now taking the raptor brand and you're watering it down if if now you're saying oh we're coming out with an R and it's more than likely going to have the Godzilla engine in it it's going to be a hundred thousand dollars and and ten thousand horsepower I I don't know but you're you're taking now what what was your kind of Halo truck and you're going well it's it's in between now normal XLT and Lariat I I mean that's what it feels like is like oh well, I've stamped I've stamped some some cool logos on it right so it's got to be kick ass but if you wait you wait me another year. You'll get the the really really badass uh, truck and people. I don't see sales for this thing since when they said Bronco R, and we all know like the R for their race program. Once they said that, I just feel like sales for this are just going to be like, well, I'm just going to wait. Yeah, well, and the thing is, is I think there's going to be the the guys that can barely afford a Raptor picking these ones up, and the guys that are super freaking. The Raptor is just like you just get the new one every time it comes out, kind of a thing. I think those are the guys that are going to snag the, the the V8s if they come out. Um, so, I just think you know that the I, I think the the TRX just comes up short in all these things. You know, all the besides horsepower, it comes up a little bit short across the line um, when when comparing to to the new Raptor. You know. Uh, well, and, I mean, and price as well, you know, like we, we'll see where it lands in price. We don't have a price, but um, the new TRX, is, you know, they started about 70K, whereas. The, oh, yeah. No, the TRX 20 is... Raptor was right in the, you know, 50, 60, like like high 50s to start out with. So. Yeah, well, but T, I mean, yeah, TRX definitely is it's you can't really get one for 85. I mean, that's kind of really let's say where it starts out. I know I know they yeah. have like a base price of 69 or something, but. To be honest, like I haven't seen anybody buying them that's not paying. They're they're paying almost ninety grand for for one of these things. Yeah. Uh, all right, so I've got the I've got Ford's website up right now where it's uh, we can uh, actually take a look at at the Raptor, and this is on their uh, F one fifty series. Let's see, let's explore the Raptor. 
and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Well, maybe. All right. Here's the here's the Ford Raptor. Uh, see, it wants to take you right to the press release stuff. It doesn't want to tell you anything about this, really. And um, well, it's got four Copilot 360, Dan. I mean, so we're we're gonna be safe on the road with oh, it. Oh, well, well, it has a, it's got its generator too on this thing. They they stuck that thing in there, that's, which is pretty cool. No, man. no, I, that's I, not I the generator. The generator that's not the generator. No, but they still. They still they stuck the generator in the new Ford. Well, in, in the, the new, new Ford, Raptor. yeah, but not this particular truck. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. All right, there's the interior again. You can see a little bit. Once again, it doesn't scream anything racy, racy to me, like the old ones used to. They just looked like a race truck, man. This one, once again, just doesn't do a ton for me on the inside, other than you get the little race, the little race ninety degree or whatever it is. I don't know what they call the mark. Stripes, Dave. Yeah. What about the stripes? What about well, the colored stripes? <laughs> But let's see any other cool pictures in this thing that we can look at. Obviously, there's the truck. Oh, oh Dave, can... let me just tell you, I, w I hope that this thing has the massaging seats. Ooh. My buddy I, that I'm headed out to the desert with uh, has a has a new F-150. Yeah. Uh, Platinum, I think it is, with the 3.5. Uh, and it's got the massaging seats. And let me just tell you, it's kind of a game changer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't think you're doing you're not doing cross country trips in this truck though, Dan. Why? Um, well, I mean, why, I'm not saying why you ever not would you? This uh, thing would be perfect for a cross country trip. Let's get 20 miles to the gallon in a 36 gallon tank. Send I, it, bro. I don't see this thing ever getting close to 20 miles a gallon. Why not? Why? Because they're putting big heavy tires on it for one thing. Oh, you get the thir the 35s, no problem, dude. <laughs> 18 miles a gallon. I mean, it does say it's a it's a jet fighter. Or it was modeled after a jet fighter, mm -hmm. though. I don't I don't see any of that in this truck either. But but really, Dan. So TRX to this TRX still winning the battle. I think right now uh, TRX looks meaner. Um, I mean, it, horsepower is king in pickup trucks, man. I'm telling you. Um, I don't I don't think in this in this particular market, I don't think it is. Well, let's ask our people here. We've got 29 people in this right now. Let's uh guys, let's see um uh, tell me what y'all think and while you're while you're typing there, Dan, I'm going to look up real quick of what the current Raptor does miles per gallon. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. And so the current one was a, it was a what was it 450 uh 450 horse 500 yep. foot foot pounds of torque. Yep. I'm guessing they're going to try and push that motor to 500 horse. They're like I have a 500 500 kind of deal, you know. Um maybe it's going to be 485 or something like that. But I, I think they're going to try and squeeze another 40 or 50 horse out of that that motor. Let's, uh, let's find out. Well, let's see. The 2024 MPG Raptor sure. Dan is hitting 15 city 18 highway. So see, highway, dude. I've not seen. If you're going any... on a road. You said road trip. 18. I'll tell you this weekend on my buddy's my buddy's truck. He's on uh, he's on 35s and he's got 3.5 uh, in his uh, platinum. So we'll yeah. see what that does. Oh, Fly Trap, thank you, sir, for that five dollars. Let's see what Fly has to say. He's uh, honestly, who would buy a badass Raptor or TRX or any other <laughs> yeah, Wazoo right? truck stripped down with a, as a stripped down trim? That's true, man. Um, and I don't think you could actually send it, send it. Right. Yeah. The people, that's why Danny, you were saying, uh, you know, maybe people can afford this one that can't afford the next one. If you, if you've got 80 grand basically to throw at a pickup truck, I mean, there's no 18 year old kids going out here being able to finance this thing. Right. Yeah, that's, that's true. It's yeah, people no. our age <laughs> would be buying this vehicle, to be honest. That's why they, that's why Metallica is the, is the background music for, for, you know, for the, um, commercial it's because they're 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 targeting people that were born you know in the in the early to late 80s probably maybe right. maybe late 70s to to 80s um you know where metallica was like you know that's what you were listening to when yeah, you're around with your that friends. album came out in 91 so yeah so you know you were probably well between me and you between uh you know i was 16 12 <laughs> 12 and 16 or something yeah, like that 17 but you know there. just coming into our own or whatever um, and you know, getting into cars at that age, you know, the, the, the math, the math makes kind of sense for the people that are probably going to be able to afford it. So that we're, 
we're definitely the market for it. Right, because well, our wallets, <laughs> our wallets can pay for this right now. Versus, you know, I mean, I could, I could go buy one right now, Dave. I could go buy one. My wife wouldn't like me, me, me very much. <laughs> you know, I'd have to trade in two of my cars to get one. But financially, I could get my get one. It well, wouldn't be a sound financial decision. But <laughs> so, so tell me this. So, on the, I'm looking at uh, the the numbers for the 2020 Raptor right now, and it says. Uh, MSRP is fifty three four five five, so fifty three thousand dollars for a for a base Raptor right now. There's no way this so thing. You're probably looking at like sixty eight to sixty nine. Yeah, for like for, a, for a nicely equipped one. In. Yeah, yeah. So this one definitely this one's sixty. I mean, I'm I'm sure it's going to have like a fifty five thousand dollar base, and it's going to go up a few thousand dollars, and then to get the thirty sevens, you're in the sixty five range at minimum. Yeah, because I'm sure it's got to be geared. Obviously, it's going to be geared differently. I shouldn't say it, it should be, but um, I don't know, man. I just was let down after seeing everything that the uh, the TRX has kind of done, and to, and to poke it forward as much as they did. I really think, though, just me speculating right now. I really think this is the Raptor that Ford had planned, and when when the TRX last year got so much publicity. And, and having what 710 horsepower and and just taking the press out and having the press jump these things and and you know i just think they've won that battle and it caused ford to go shit we got to <laughs> what can we throw in this truck i i really do and I, I think that's why this truck was ready to be released and now they're playing they're playing catch up and like well, the TRX done whipped our ass a little bit. We better dump something into this. Yeah, they they called they called the R and D in the in the engine department, and they said, "Hey, we need to squeeze more out of this. How how are we going to do it without blowing this thing up?" Yeah, that's they had to have made that call. They said, "Squeeze it, squeeze it. We got to compete," because oh, they course. just came out with a a barn burner with the Bronco. So now they have to be like, "Well, all right, you know." They they, they called. And they said, "We need two motors. We need we need the three five to start squeezing out some more power, and we need the other one. And you need to shoehorn that thing in and figure it out real quick." Yes, no, no doubt on that. So I'm looking, I'm looking at potentially. I mean, to make a splash for Bronco or uh, for uh, Raptor R, it's got to be the Godzilla engine, right? The seven three. Oh, uh, to, well. <laughs> maybe <laughs> i suppose that might be an option um i mean that would be pretty cool i mean well i mean um, it's they just put, they could put like a twin turbo coyote in it <laughs> that would be pretty badass <laughs> yeah but what what is the gt let's see let me look this up real quick oh so, the gt 500 motor uh what is that motor that's a good question i'm trying to think make 700 the 700 horsepower horse. yeah yeah, yeah. five two yeah so that would I guess depending. I mean that that it's got six hundred twenty five foot pounds because they don't want to put the they don't want to put anything bigger and heavier in there. Yeah, I mean that's just the the six seven uh, or the seven point three liters. A, it's a big motor, you know. Yeah, and but how would this react in a that truck? Want, for something that they want to still handle off road, like they ju- that's I, I I really I'm telling you, Dave. Half of the reason people like this truck. Is because they can drive it straight into the dirt, mm-hmm. and it handles like a beast. Right. I think that's how it got its chops. It was always powerful. That you know, big trucks that size have have always had a decent amount of horsepower, at least in in recent history. <laughs> right. Um. So yeah, it's cool to have a little bit more horsepower, but it does not matter at all when you if you took your you know Dodge with three hundred and fifty horsepower and it could barely go over bumps, and then all of a sudden. Ford came out with this truck that you could just send. You could take that horsepower and you could mash a pedal in the dirt, and you wouldn't destroy your truck in five minutes. You right. Know? So that makes a huge difference, especially like I said, with weight. They don't have to be uh, quite as powerful because they're so much lighter, and it's gonna feel just as fast. So I think that's where they're kind of at. But I do think that that having a beefy v8 in it is going to be uh i think it's it's kind of a, a thing that they have to do though right all right so i'm looking at the the ram trx right now and it msrp is uh 6995 uh it's got a 6.2 liter v8 engine the torque numbers are 650 uh 702 horsepower i thought it was 710 but 7 702 sounds about right uh Nickel the fuel tank in that thing is 33 gallons 
because it's miles, you know, smiles per gallon. Yeah, because it thing. takes three times a month. It's like I think uh, was it Tim or Jill or something like that? They were doing a they were doing around town in one or something. Like oh that. yeah, like Jill five was. miles a gallon. Yeah. <laughs> well, so if we look at that that GT five hundred motor that that five three and compare it to this, so torque six fifty for the Ram as it stands right now. That uh, did I lose it? There it is. So six twenty five is in the Shelby right now. Uh, you could bump you could bump that up a little bit. I think you know, I, I in six twenty five versus their six fifty. Who cares? People look at yeah, torque, and but it again, doesn't. It, you know, it's weight. You yeah. know, yeah. And this truck it's, would be a thousand. It'd be way faster in that yeah. truck. So HP is a uh, seven hundred and sixty horsepower in the the GT five hundred, and um, let's see the. And we're looking at uh seven oh two. Which you know what they may t- they may tone it down to seven hundred and and you know try and get a little bit more torque out of it, which would probably be the ideal situation for that motor. Right. Um. I can. I mean. I can see. I can see that. Uh. The Godzilla motor. The only reason I say that is because they've made such a name for themselves. Of oh my god, it's our ultimate, uh, ultimate motor. But I guess Ford or Ram has done that with uh the the elf what elephant. Elephant. That, a thousand <laughs> yeah. horsepower engine that you can't buy because they can't seem to actually produce it. Um, so Dan, I, I there's we've got some good truck battles coming, man. It's, yeah, it's no, never. I, I, I'm glad that somebody else stepped into this arena with them. You know, and it competition, um, you know, pushes innovation. I guess is what you, uh, what the, the saying would probably be, but it for sure, Dave. Right. No, it def it definitely is that. I think uh, I think other brands like GM right now. You know, they came out and said, oh, by 2035 or whatever, they're only going to produce electric vehicles. I think as soon as they did that, that was the death nail for that brand as far as trucks and stuff. They're always going to have people buy their trucks. But they're clearly Chevrolet is not interested in getting into this at all. They've had 10 years to jump into it, and they've just, nah. We'll do a trail boss. That's what people want. They want that. Yeah, the trail boss. Oh, gosh, dude. That thing is just. I like it. Screams like I oh dave dude i would I have one in just... that fire engine red they do in a heartbeat and i haven't liked a gm oh. truck in a long time i think i'd oh. rather have the uh the gmc version but the at4 I can't package stand the mall rated the mall rating that they look they look so <laughs> mall rated to me like i would never drive any any of those things anywhere near the dirt it just feels like it would just rip the whole side skirts off and the you'd get your uh, you get your purse dirty, just barely hanging it out the window. It's so close to the ground. Right. Well, let's. Uh, I'm gonna go through a couple of questions Sorry. here before we wrap this up. <laughs> Don't, Danny. Danny lost his light. Oh, there he is. All right. So uh, let's see a, a, a couple of questions here and comments. Let me. Let me. Mouse. Where'd you go, Mouse? B. B Warren was uh, mentioned the Godzilla motor. It's a medium duty school bus engine. I I was just looking at it. Yeah, it's right around the 400. Um, 400 horsepower range, uh, 400 horsepower and torque. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if, I don't. No, it's know a towing. That's that a towing motor. motor. To, don't get me wrong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, school, like yeah, school bus, medium duty oh. school bus. You know, probably meant to tow for a very long time for a gas motor. I love B Ward here. Trail boss next to your matching color Murano Cross Cabriolet. Uh, Danny, you were <laughs> you were part of the Cross Cabriolet, right? Uh, that was our last oh, NMP. Yeah. Yes, my wife will have the Cross Cabriolet. Uh, Murano hatch, and I'll have the the Chevy Trail, the the Chevy Trail shitty boss. <laughs> uh, but let's you see. Have to uh, slow down for your driveway and your trail boss. Uh, let's see. Anything else here? Uh, I think this the seven three is a cast motor. It it probably is. Yeah, I only not liking it. I'm always suggesting the the Godzilla name, guys. Like I, I I'm not, but I'm not being. You know, I'm kind of being funny with uh, they need a name. They need to name uh, that Ford needs names like this. They need. To, I mean, it's worked perfect for Dodge. Once they came out with something called a Hellcat, like, and I'll say that as we wrap this thing up, FCA or what was Delius or whatever they want to call themselves now, um, they know how to name things. Look at Rubicon. When the, yeah. the Jeep, I mean, I mean that was go like, all the way back to Roadrunners and all their all their crazy things that they <laughs> named stuff. But they history. they went in and and oh we're gonna do the the Gladiator now a kick ass name oh we're gonna the motor let's call it a Hellcat or a Scat Pack or yeah. 
like that yeah. company you know they build excitement just by a name and that's something i think some of these other bumble, brands the bumble sniffer edition then they'll yeah. throw like some freaking crazy uh, uh animation on it and stuff like that they've, they've been doing that for a hot minute yes I mean, even the hellcat has a has a cat roaring on the front of it you know what i'm saying <laughs> oh no doubt no doubt oh and john wells says you can't steal godzilla from nissan which i agree that's true I, that That's pissed true. that as a Nissan fanboy that pissed me off last year when or whenever it was Godzilla. Like, oh, we've got the Godzilla motor, and you're like, you're like, dude, don't. That's like that's just like yeah, ignoring it's Nissan. The OG, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. So tomorrow, Danny, I don't think you'll be a part of it, but I wish you were. We've got we've got Frontier. Uh, I dude, I'm I'm I may have to work out or uh, walk out of work and uh, and call in on that. In okay, truck, okay. Or go out in my in my uh yeah. Well, I'm gonna do whatever I possibly can. We'll see. I'll let you know um a little bit ahead It'll of time. It'll be early. Work real hard to do that. It's uh I eleven know. central. So so eleven ten nine eight or central is two hours ahead of me. Yep. So your central time, right? Mm-hmm. So eleven ten nine nine thirty. I believe that's right. I'm gonna double. I'm gonna double check this. Uh, yeah, that might be before things get too uh too busy at work. I might sneak into the back room for at least the initial. Right, so let me just verify this before I, I I tell everybody. And um, let's see, 1 p.m. Eastern. So it's noon. I'm sorry. It's it's noon um Central. So noon uh, yeah, central? that's right. Yeah, it's noon Central. That's why I've, I've got 11:45. It'll be 10 o'clock for me. Yeah, so um, but it's been a great so far. It's been a great kickoff to Truck Week, as I want to call it, man. Because yeah, we've got the Raptor well, that was highly anticipated, and the Frontier, which was so highly anticipated that people forgot about the brand. And then on top of that, we have King of the Hammers going on right mm-hmm. now, and they're you know they brought like three different uh, liveried um, race trucks with their Bronco um, mm-hmm. with Bronco bodies on them, which is super rad. They have a they have an Everyman Challenge Bronco going up, I believe that with, that's actually a Bronco. Um, so it's it's going to be really cool to see some of that stuff out. Uh, I'm leaving on Friday uh, out to King of the Hammers to see the the final races for the Everyman Challenge and right. the um, Ultra Four Racing. Don't get um, ran over. Yeah, man. there's there's so much, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's so much cool stuff popping out over there that uh, that uh, I'm excited to see that. But well, yeah, for for a week full of trucks, um, this is the week. Man. And I think you're gonna see. I think you're gonna see one of these uh, one of these Raptors at there. I, I believe you will see a Raptor out there. I can't believe that they would. It's possible. Ford has a big presence out there yes. right now. That's oh for yeah, sure. like Bronco is everywhere. Which uh, I'm sure you'll bring us some Bronco coverage. But uh, I have yeah. a feeling Von too. Junior's out there in his. In his in the race Bronco, I mean he that's a huge he's a fully Ford sponsored race program right. for like multiple day, for drifting and everything. So, I think too that you're gonna see it, guys. What I know was Nissan was gonna do last year at this time. Danny was a part of this conversation. I think you're gonna see a Frontier at King of Hammers. I really do. Um, I we don't. we were told at one point <laughs> I, we were told at one point that they were building a a a truck. Right, Dan. At least with the motor, yeah. There was there was talk of uh, of a new motor coming out to to the King of the Hammers, but I think that entire program got scrapped. I think they've gone. I think they pulled their all their money back in their pockets, and I think they're just focusing on regular old uh, Frontier. Well, etc. If, ne- if Nissan was smart, if they were smart, they would have a presence out there for the rest of the week. That's all I'm going to oh, say. Of course, of course, but um, I don't think they're. I don't think they're going to have anything out there. And I think that's. I think they forgot what that is. To tell you the truth, well, that's where Nissan is right now. My yeah, daughter. yeah. Well, <laughs> that's for your channel now. That's for your Nissan Nation. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a, that's that's my that's the bitching that I'm going to do on my channel. Nissan, <laughs> get back into racing, you sons of bitches. <laughs> All right, so guys, uh, thank you all for joining. All uh, up to thirty or so we had on here tonight. I know I didn't really, yep. I didn't broadcast that we were going to do this. I just, um, I was going to do a, a breakdown video, and I thought, no, I want Danny a part of this, and because uh, this is your alley. These these trucks are definitely all Danny. Like, yeah, this is this is the kind of stuff that I. I mean, if you're out here in Southern California, the amount of Raptors that roll around here, they're you know they're they're driving all over you. Um, and same thing when I go out to King of the Hammers, they're, they're everywhere. Um, it's, it's the, it's the, it's the truck of the, the off-road bro, you know, <laughs> like if you can afford it, you're going to grab a Raptor to tow your little toys around and stuff like that. Uh, YouTube so car spotters what, uh, asking where is King of Hammers is Johnson Valley, right? Uh, yeah. Johnson Valley, which is, um, uh, inland of LA. 
um, about a uh, couple hours. It's uh, it's off the 15 if you were to go from L.A. to Vegas, the main highway that goes through there. It's kind of out in the desert out there, out in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah, it's about, I want to say it's about an hour from, like, the closest town. Um, so, um, let's see. Oh, uh, so, let's see, who was there? Uh, Maddie, Maddie was asking, uh, what do I think of the Blackwing, the Cadillac? Um, I don't, Cadillac, like, they do some really cool things, and then, I don't know. I, I they they constantly are changing what they want to call these things. I I can I don't keep up with Cadillac. I will I will dig deeper into that because I know they do. They build a lot of stuff off of that platforms and stuff. They build some kick ass thing. Oh look at Danny's furiously typing. He's like Blackwing. What? Yeah. Um. But, oh, I know what that is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the CT five. Um. And he, real quick, Dave. Um. I know we're, we're signing off, but I I kind of want to throw this out to the oh, go to the no we got I got all the time in the world, man. Um, I noticed that um, Chevy GMC are dropping are finally dropping Suburbans with diesels in them. That's something. Is that something that you guys are interested in chatting about um, in the future? I think it's a really cool, interesting um, segment. We haven't seen those since the excursion uh, back in. Danny, Danny's only six months behind here in the news. So. <laughs> yeah. No. But <laughs> is that is that something? Well, they just started showing up. They yeah, actually they, actually like yeah. showing up on trucks. Um, I think that's a waste of time. About what people are thinking of them? I, I think I think I, I I'm, in, I'm I'm curious. I like the idea. I don't know where don't they're get, at. Yeah, I like the idea. Don't get me wrong, but I think when you're adding diesel is is dead, man. There we got a green administration here now, man. So so yeah, when them Trump bucks are flowing, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Trump bucks are flowing. We could get down and dirty. <laughs> now it's uh, we better clean our our act up again. So, uh, Dan, yeah. how long does that last, man? Oh, dude, I, I, I have no idea. I wasn't aware that they were even coming out. I had heard talk about them, but I thought it was a little bit more of like a, hey, I think these are, might be in the future or whatever. And then all of a sudden, I saw a picture of a couple like showing, like the first couple showing up at a dealer, mm -hmm. uh, and, um, and I was like, wait, they're actually doing this? I'm like, that's one hand. I think it's rad. Like I've seen, you know, like the whole like diesel excursion thing for the longest time, everybody wanted the diesel excursion to tow their toys and have their big family in there or, you know, all their buddies or whatever it was. The diesel excursion has always been kind of like this mythical beast, you know, especially if you can get the seven, three in them or whatever. Uh, but you know, that type of vehicle is long gone. Oh. Uh, and to see him come back is just interesting for me. Uh, Maddie's got, he says, uh, family heart gets like 30 miles per gallon. I hate to break it to you, man. I'm looking at the numbers now. It's 2026. 20, I mean, it, it okay, and, uh, whatever. Dude. I mean, it's, it's still close. pretty freaking rad. <laughs> um, and let's see, somebody, uh, where was it? Please do a special with Dash Off Road from Australia. I've actually been talking with, uh, with David and those guys, uh, about doing it. Yeah. We've had, we had, uh, Love I believe those guys. It was Matt was on the podcast a long time ago, and uh, I've been trying to just arrange time. It's like 18 hours difference, so to do it, we usually do like the Friday night shows, which sort of work out for their Saturday mornings uh, time-wise. Yeah. So uh, I, I have been talking to those guys about actually doing something. So definitely on a – and if you guys ever want to, us to interview people, for one, let us know in the comments because uh, Danny's a big deal, but we don't know everybody. And uh, obviously, we're, we yeah. have a rich Nissan background, which means about nothing when you're talking all brands. But yeah, so we know we know point four seven eight nine percent of you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We almost know something. But all right, so Dan, you will be at King of Hammers this weekend. You're gonna get us a bunch of yes. cool video and pictures. Uh, if there's something yep, out there, guys, send that stuff to Dave if possible. If there's something out there you want to see, tag to Groot X and in Instagram. Uh, or you, a lot of you know us on Facebook. You can, I'm sure you can find us on Facebook. But tag us in things that you want us to talk about, and we'll be damn sure. Because, because I'll be honest, I'm about Broncoed out. I, I'm, I'm finding any part of a Bronco I can talk about now because Bronco pays the channel bills. <laughs> but, uh, but I, I'm definitely ready for, uh, to, to, you know, venture out just a little bit. And I think Frontier is going to be a big thing for us too. So, uh, Dan, yep. Last words. What do you got? Uh, really excited about the frontier popping out tomorrow. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to try and do anything I can to get the get on that live feed with you guys. So definitely, um, I definitely want to see what everybody thinks because I'm a little bit too much of a fanboy to have a you know I have a biased opinion. I I really 
from what I've seen, I'm going to be excited about it. Um, we're also going to see Pathfinder as well. Yeah, but uh, I've seen Pathfinder. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Well, you've seen, to, you've seen yeah. Pathfinder. We yeah, can't, I, we can't I, talk I about it. I hope it's it, a but... little bit better. I hope it's a little bit better than what we saw. You know, maybe there's some different <laughs> versions of it or something like that. But um, it, some stuff's good, some stuff's bad, and we didn't see enough for me to make a full opinion. But um, well, you can I think sneaky, uh, sneaky, I think the frontier is going to be. I think the frontier is going to be a home run. Um, I'm hoping. Ben, I'm I just hoping. Think it's going to miss on a couple things. I think and outside it is is uh, it's going to look good. I think it's going to look very uh, Toyota like right now. Which is you're going after the king. You might as well go after the king. Uh, I think it's got a better engine transmission setup. But I, if the interior is anything like the pre build stuff we saw with this sort of tightenish interior, it's dead. Yeah, it's we'll dead see. The interior arrival, will be man. a big. I think. I think the interior will be a big deciding factor for it. Are they going to have a decent interior? Um, so yeah, those are all the big questions. We'll we'll you know we'll chat about tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll have enough time to be able to chat with them after we see it but uh right. yeah thanks for having me on thanks for everybody uh chatting with you hopefully we'll see uh see each other more coming up and uh big homie thank you for uh i brought he said broncos brought me to the channel well i'm glad i'm glad you we're, cool, man. we're idiots Good guys you, we, me and danny just love vehicles uh so it once again <laughs> shut up danny <laughs> so once again tag us in anything we're on instagram uh ultra well you see the link there down all train nation uh, media Tag us in anything in DeGroot X, and uh, we're going to cover it. So from all things two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, to whatever Danny's driving out to uh, to Johnson Valley. What are you driving out there? Uh, I'm uh, I'm going to be riding, actually, uh, in the back of a uh, 2020 Ford uh, F-150 Platinum well, with the massaging seats. Keep that and pinkies a, and up, and man. A, uh, and a Honda Ruckus in the back, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Danny, pinky's up, though, when you're driving in that kind of a fancy vehicle. Um, Classy, dude. All right, man. So uh, this is your All-Terrain Nation. And what are we, Danny? Oh, peace, peace. everybody. Love y'all. And I'll see you tomorrow. And it's going to be crazy. I've, 